Hey everyone, Mtast here, and I just took my traveler to 90. I spent another 20 something books to get him up there, and it was worth it. As a Dendro unit, and with the aggravate and spread debuff, or quicken, whatever you want to call it, you gain bonus damage based on your level, and I want to get out every piece of damage possible because I think the traveler is awesome. Do you need to take him to 90? Maybe not just yet, but I'm getting him pretty much maxed out other than crowning him. I am invested in the Traveler. I have all the books farmed up. We're going to be leveling this up. I, I have a, a couple of these that I need to convert to do it, but we are ready to rip on all the talents. He's going to go to nine. He's going to nine. I don't think I'm going to crown him, and it's not because he's bad or, or, or anything like that. It's just I only have so many. I crown a lot of different units. I've got Fischl crowned. I've got Xingqiu double crowned. Shangling's crowned. I do it on a lot of different units, and I want to make sure I've got three or four all the time. Uh, you know, there's a new Archon coming and different things. So I'm going to hyper-invest in a Traveler. I highly recommend him, but there's also another unit that I'm going to take up to 90 right now and put a little bit more love into, and I'm going to tell you who that is in just a second. I'm kidding. Aren't you sick of ads that look like this? Let's check out something different, Samity Manor. Samity Manor is a tycoon game where it's all about profit, making as much money with your undead army as possible. You can build a farm, upgrade your skeleton cemetery, and invest your money into tons of different buildings to keep the profits flowing. And you can even hire a bunch of different managers to run the buildings for you, giving you different bonuses to bring in the money. So what are you waiting for? Click the link down below and get started with Samity Manor today. This game's free to play and you don't have to grind it 24-7 to make progress. If you got the big brain, you could become the king of the underworld. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video and let's get back into the content. So the other unit is actually going to be Fischl and I have Fischl's E crowned, but I'm actually going to go grind this up and, and make sure I get one more level here. I don't care if it's only a little bit. I like Fischl so much right now. She is so powerful with Dendro, and I'm actually going to be doing this bad boy too, so she can benefit uh, as much as possible. But this is quite a few books to throw in just to get that one little level. It's quite a bit of Mora. I don't recommend everyone do this, but, you know, a little bit more base attack, a little bit tankier, but the scaling with this uh, reaction, it's a flat amount of damage that scales up every single level. And so 89 to 90, it's, it's not even 1% more damage. It's 0.5% more damage, but it's enough that I'm going to do it. And, you know, I think that these changes, uh, or I should say these upgrades, are going to go a long way. I'm already doing like 15,000, 20,000 damage with my E ability uh, with the Traveler. He's ticking for like over 4,000 damage every two, like, a second. He's, he's doing awesome. I'm really, really happy with this character. And... I think that he is worth the investment. Even if you wanted to stop here, right? Eight and eight, still doing pretty good, but I'm taking him up all the way. I got to actually convert a couple more of these things. But between the free constellations, like, guys, he is so good. He is so, so valuable. There's tons of weapons you can use on him to bring value. This gives him some extra energy, which allows him to have his burst ability on the field, which lasts for three extra seconds. The downtime on this is almost nothing. And he just gets better with time, giving you elemental mastery. The second you pop your burst and you're standing in it, you get a nice chunk of like 30 EM, and then it stacks up even further. And, um, you know, this one here, he gets dendro damage. And anyone who's standing in it, anyone who's doing, um, like if you use, let's say, Fischl inside of his burst and you, you quicken it and you, you power it up, she gets electro damage. If Ayato uses his hydro, and, and boost it up. He gets hydro damage. This is an amazing little uh, support ability to do. Some units, um, you know, Jean, she gives some extra attack speed in her burst. Super cool, super valuable. I love that. This is a, I, I'm not going to say top tier, but it is a pretty damn good constellation to have, a good passive to have, considering it's free. If this was the C6 of, of a five-star unit you got to pay for, okay, maybe not. I get that. But this is a free unit. We can't get this yet, but my god, that's, that's a ton of value to have uh, for free. Cannot wait for that. And so I am um, absolutely giving him my vote of confidence between, you know, this passive here uh, and, you know, just his own damage. You get some EM on him, he's pretty cool. And I don't even have him built with very much EM. I've got an EM cup on. 
you know, he's doing okay there, but even if you built him full damage, he would slap. If you got a bunch of crit rate on him, crit damage, he would slap. I've got him in a support build with Favonius. He slaps. You can use the new Sapwood Blade. Give your other teammates some elemental mastery. He has so many different options. I used him with the Mist Splitter for a little bit. I was running around with Mist Splitter, doing pretty good. I was happy with it. Um, you know, the Iron Sting. Yoked on this guy. It's cracked if you want to do lots of damage. He's getting 165 base elemental mastery. But then this is just boosting up your elemental damage. And I have him built as like a, a what's it called? A noblesse support. And it's, you know, it's, it's got okay. St Wait, I swapped one of them out on accident. He's not, he hasn't even boosted my team properly and I'm in love with him. I must have swapped this out for, uh, oh, I did, for Shang Ling. I remember, I remember for a video, I swapped this out for Shang Ling. Let's put that back on. Anyway, there we go. <laughs> now he's good. Uh, I'm really happy with him. And this is one of the first times where, you know, once Raiden Shogun came out, people were like, okay, Electro Traveler, not that good. I liked Electro Traveler, but I get why people didn't love him. Even if other five stars come out, I think the Traveler still is going to get usage. Because if you take him to 90, he's 90 for all the other elements. The talents, yes, they go away. That's unfortunate. You have to redo the talents every time. That sucks. I get it. He can't infuse and be a main DPS. That sucks. I get it. Unfortunate. But with these constellations and the support value he brings... The ability to trigger different reactions, give EM, give that damage. He's always going to be good. He's he's always going to be a usable and powerful support. I think this is the best passives, uh, best constellations overall uh, of most of them uh, in, in the way that it helps your team and the way his kit helps your team and, uh, and allows Electro, Hydro, tons of different openings I'm so happy with this guy. I, I truly am. And I gotta go do this now. I gotta go convert uh, some more of these these artifacts. Not artifacts. Um, Sasubakas. I need to convert these. So I can get one of these. Trade these in. I'm gonna go like that. Boom. That puts me up to three. I, I need more. I need more. Give me, give me one more. Do I have one more? I could get two more. Let's get them. Boom. I think now we've got enough. I had to I had to actually farm farm bosses for the first time in a while. But this is perfect. Nine. And nine. Look at that bad boy. That's nice. That is nice. Half a million more. We just spent a million mora here on our boy. And I would spend another million. Now, again, am I gonna crown this guy? I've got four of them. It's not the end of the world. But I don't want to um, I don't want to be too low in case a triple crown worthy unit does come out. Uh, I don't know who my next five star is going to be, but I don't want to blow these just yet. Um, I can get a fifth one from this new event. And so so maybe I'll crown one, but I'm not too sure yet I want to go down this path. That is a pretty big investment. And I don't know, I, I feel like there's just like a lot of new characters that are coming out that I want to test out and try out. And he's good enough as is. I'm enjoying the Electro stuff. I'm enjoying the Dendro stuff. And I would recommend this unit uh, to pretty much anyone, especially new players. If you're a new player, this is like the biggest and best change they've made in a long time. Like tr truly one of the best upgrades to the game because they made him so valuable. He worked with Animo. He worked with Geo. You know, people have made it happen. They beat the abyss with them. But this time, he's actually, he feels like a character. And he's still not as good as he will be. So, new players, rejoice. Enjoy your Traveler. Grind him up. You don't have to take him all the way, 9 and 9. If you want to go to 6 or 7 and you just want to apply some reactions, do your thing. But I think he's worth the investment. I truly think he's worth the investment. So, those are my reviews. I like this guy. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. And that's... You're just so cute. <laughs> wow.